Hey everyone, welcome back. I am here with the July Cards, Tax, and More Kit. And I am going to be working on my first project. But first, I'm just going to go over real quick what's in here. There is this doily die. Hopefully the lawnmower is not too, too loud there in the background, but at least I, I know that nobody's going to be coming in and trying to talk to me. There is this stamp set. Some uh, Treasure Lee chipboard flourishes. A pack of 49 and Market flowers. Some of this seam binding here. And then 10 sheets of this uh, cardstock, which it's all single sided. And I'm just going to kind of flip through real quick here. And there's those. And this one I've already cut into four inch sections, like so. I'm going to turn this into an accordion fold, just a little mini album, little flip mini album, which I really kind of like the fact that the back is plain, just because I don't have to worry about hiding a side. You'll see what I mean when I fold it up. You know, I don't have to pick which side I like better. So. I have it like this, and it's probably going to be four inches, well, four inches this way, and probably like three inches or so this way. Actually, let me see here. Kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of want to look at this. I might do four by four. No, I'll, I'll do four by like three because I'm going to need um, parts to fold over, the little flaps to fold over. So I'm going to grab up my scoreboard and then start scoring where I want my folds to go. I have my pieces cut out and kind of just stuck together how they'll be going and I wanted to say these as you can see it's just really really small I just kind of shaved off a bit here and there as I needed it and that's because this is some this is rather kind of thick cardstock weight you know printed pattern paper and those shavings came off of the edges that go in to the fold just so that it would keep everything lined up rather nice I'm just sticking it under there so it quits unraveling on me and now I am going to use my doily die here on, I think I'm going to use a couple different sheets of the pattern paper. Um, let me, let me pull a couple out. And I'm going to go on this one and I'm going to cut it in half real quick or uh, before I put it on this and I'm going to do another half in this one yeah and now you can just cut it out without this and then glue them in place when you're ready I however have these 12 by 12 adhesive sheets which is just going to kind of speed up the process for me and that's just you know I won't have dry time 
or anything like that. So they're not a requirement. You can just use whatever glue you have on hand when you get to gluing them in place. So I'm gonna work on that real quick. Getting these prepared, and I may or may not use all of my doilies on this project. I'm not not quite sure yet. I don't think that they will all fit, but but I will have some for other projects or other yeah other projects using the kit. Alright, I have three cut out of each one and I'm going to just kind of trim it down because I think the solid pieces that are left I will turn into tags possibly maybe, maybe possibly. I might even use the negative cuts kind of as background. Um, decoration, interest, texture, whatever you want to say. So I'm just going to work on this and I'm going to show you kind of what I'm thinking with my doilies just to start. I have little pieces everywhere right now because I just kind of dumped them off and tossed them over and cut the next one. Pop out some of these. I'm going to grab up two different ones. That's what I've been working on as my plan. I'm going to kind of look for... Ooh. I guess that one is the one. There we go. See if I can't clean this up a bit because this is this is kind of what I'm thinking. I want to take them and peel them apart and stick them together. Because then I want to, and I know this might seem weird, I'm going to kind of trim them because they're going to go in like this and I'm just going to have like little pieces sticking up so after I stick them together I'm just going to trim off the edges does that make sense? so stick that back out of the way I'm going to work on sticking them together and then cutting them into pieces and then going on to the sticking them in and around and out of the little accordion journal there. All right, now now it's time to start kind of thinking about assembly and the first thing first is going to be connecting the strips of paper to each other so I'm just going to get my glue and put it on those little tabs and get them get them put together so they quit sliding all over on me for one thing This is what I'm doing. I just cut
cut them in half and then I'm trimming them off so they'll be straight so they fit in to the folds and they're just going to stick out the top so I'm just going to finish up this last these last couple pieces here Just like so so that they go in and stick up like that and for right now for right now I am going to just glue them in place and I'm gonna glue them low because of the stitching and I don't I don't want to put my sewing machine through too many layers of glue so actually I think I think that just to tack them in place I'm just gonna run some uh, for my glider here and stick them in place once I make sure I know which one's kind of the top before before I before I sew everything down all right I just ran simple straight stitch on the top and the bottom just just to make a match and now I'm gonna glue my pages together and put some weight on it just just to until you know it's dry and then I'll get to putting some decorations in my little booklet here. All right, I, because I have another half left, I'm going to be putting it down here on the cover and I cut out a piece off of one of those leftover strips like so I'm kind of kind of going around just playing with the parts and pieces I have and I actually am considering maybe adding that I'm not sure oh maybe like that let me just sort of play around um but you can kind of see where I'm going here I'm kind of going to talk about the different options I've been thinking about I'm going to just cut part of this um seam binding clean up this edge here so that it can be attached like this and wrapped around but I wanted it to be underneath all of this here so it'll be like that So those are those are what's starting there. And then all my pages. I have a couple little scraps here left of this. And I've pulled out some of my punches. I have a one and a half inch circle punch and a one inch one inch circle punch. 
So I'm thinking of punching holes or punching circles out of mm, these pieces here. And on the parts I have left here, I'm thinking of doing tags. Just decorative tags, I guess you might say. They're going to be part of the background. So I would just cut them down to a little bit um, shorter than the pages, like so. Different sizes. And if you just, you know, you can pretty much eyeball it and do it like that with a pair of scissors. I have a corner punch because, well, I like, I like making sure everything's as even as possible. So I'm just going to clip the ed or the corners of my tag pieces that I want. Maybe, maybe some of these shorter ones I can do like brackets. So there's that. Um, I'm kind of trying to explain ahead of time so that once I get going, it, it kind of will make sense what you're seeing, hopefully. Now, back, back kind of to talk about my cover, now that I'm kind of got that explained there because before I put this on I did want to stamp it with I'm not sure which one I'll be using exactly like if this was going to be a birthday memory book or a celebration Let's see here. And I think I will do birthday. And I'm just going to eyeball it for this. See if I can get the happy birthday both on here. Well, I can't do them. I can't do them both at the same time. So I'll do one and then the other because there will be some overlap, but not a lot. Which I'm okay with. And then I'm going to grab up just some ink. Let's see what colors. I'm just going to use some brown ink it kind of you know goes with a nice neutral color here and there's that just a little cover there to kind of you know, explain what's in there. You could put little pictures from a birthday celebration, little memory book type thing going on here. So I'm going to set this off to dry so I don't smudge it. And then just kind of start 
thinking about exactly how I want to put these together. I might, I might, um, also kind of cut into the other halves I have here. Maybe some circles. I do have, I also have a two and a half inch circle punch. Just shapes, tags, just to add a couple of you know, a little bit of layering effect onto my pages. My little flip book here is complete. It's ready. You can put notes in it, little pictures, make a little memory book for somebody's birthday or whatever you want it to be. I just have mine stamped for a birthday. Um, on the ends of my seam binding I used some fray no more it's a really really liquidy fabric glue uh, I guess that's the best to describe it as I actually don't know how old that bottle is um, you could tie knots in your ends if you don't want them to fray or even just dip them in even the the glue that you used to put your book together just anything there along the edges to hold them together so I hope that you enjoyed this little project 
and that it gave you some ideas of what can be done with items that are found in this month's cards, tags, and more kit. And as always, thank you for joining us here at Treasure Lee. And I will see you again soon.